नमस्कार मिस्टर जे यू एम बी प्रसाद सेक्रेटरी आंध्र प्रदेश हाईकोर्ट एडवोकेट्स एसोसिएशन गंटा रामा राव चेयरमैन बार काउंसिल ऑफ आंध्र प्रदेश एस श्रीराम एडवोकेट जेनरल आंध्र प्रदेश my esteemed colleagues in the bench and their spouses members of the bar association registrar general and the other officers and staff of the high court members of the legal fraternity judicial officers police personnel present members of the press both media and electronic and print ladies and gentlemen present <laughs> at the very outset i extend my heartiest greetings on this auspicious and joyous occasion of the republic day as you all know on this day in the year 1950 the constitution which was adopted by the constituent assembly on 26th of november 1949 came into effect and with the coming into effect of the constitution of india the transition of our country towards an independent republic was final and complete this is an occasion for us to ponder reflect and introspect how we have worked the constitution all these years i am very happy to be able to participate in today's celebrations on the last independence day when i was in this high court of sikkim i could not take part in the celebrations as i was confined to my residence having to undergo quarantine for 28 days because of covid-19 pandemic i am very new here to, it is only less than 3 weeks that i have taken oath as the chief justice of this august institution and i must place on record that i am humbled by the kind of reception i was given on my arrival in the state of andhra pradesh and continued thereafter in the meantime i had held court proceedings for 8 days to be precise and i must confess that interactions in the court have been very lively and it has been a wonderful experience for me i thank all concerned for making my initial foray in this prestigious institution excellent even as a resident of the state of assam i was aware 
that the Andhra Pradesh High Court had a hallowed and rich tradition, heritage, and a great legacy. And I will try to do what most to see to it that the High Court of Andhra Pradesh goes from strength to strength. There are challenges for all kinds of institutions, but they may vary in form, the challenges may be different, and judiciary is no exception. Indian judiciary is working under considerable stress and strain. There are a number of handicaps, lack of resources, lack of fund, lack of staff, lack of infrastructure, and so on and so forth. Increasing number of institutional of cases, mounting areas, accumulation, congestion in courts, and laws inevitable delays have taken a toll on Indian judiciary. But then, when you consider the size of the country, the diversity of the conditions, the size of the population, range and variety of cases, and the sheer volume of litigation in all our courts spread all over the country, it will be no exaggeration to say that since the time we made our tryst with destiny, Indian judiciary has carried a phenomenal burden which perhaps no other judiciary in the world had to shoulder. This is largely possible because of the most distinguished role played by the lawyer community. Judiciary as an institution is supposed to be the sentinel in the key weave. And in order to sustain and demonstrate its inalienable traits, in order to command respect of the people. As a constituent of a wing of democratic governance, we have to be uncompromisingly responsible and transparent in our dealings. Of late, a fleeting sense of skepticism has set in raising discomforting queries about the very efficacy of the justice delivery mechanism. With due commitment, resolve, and singularity of purpose, we must try to restore confidence on the teeming masses, on the system, in its pristine glory. We must all try to inculcate a sense of belonging to the cause, and by rising above our personal accomplishments, contribute individually and collectively to improve the system. With these few words, I thank you all present for gracing the occasion. Thank you. Namaskar. Jai Hind.